Hello everyone. Today we have come out to have a look at Dunbar Harbour. How are you all? Hope you are all happy and healthy and well out there. Look at this. Is this not just beautiful? Um, yeah, I thought we'd leave Edinburgh today and come out to Dunbar Harbour because Kirsten and I came here with Lillian yesterday just to get out of town, just to have a little look about and I, I hadn't been here before. It's about 30 miles outside of Edinburgh, along the coast of Edinburgh. Uh, not Sorry, not of Edinburgh, along the coast of East Lothian, um, heading out towards the North Sea. In fact, this is kind of the entrance to the Firth of Forth from the North Sea and it's just beautiful and I was like I have to come back here and film if it's a nice day and it's a beautiful day so I thought I'd come down and show you so let's have a look it is just beautiful beautiful harbour which ties into a lot of Scottish history look it's even got a castle ruin up there actually most of that area is a castle ruin, but most of it is gone now. Is this not just an incredible, beautiful spot? So we'll start by going over there, because there's a lot of history in this area. Well, you come down, you can have fish and chips, or freshly caught fish. I mean, how nice is that? There's actually a little thing over there where you can get toasties as well. And you know, everyone loves a toasty. But yeah, let's... Uh, Let's go over there, but look, it's a, it's a proper, beautiful little, I don't know why I say it's a proper, beautiful little um, harbour, because, you know, most harbours are, are, are beautiful little harbours, but I think it's a, it's a real fishing harbour, not just a touristy one, you know what I mean? I'm loving this little bridge, actually. There is parking over this part here, which I didn't do. I didn't feel like I should, but you can drive over this little dock bridge, which I don't know how often it opens, because it has got this extra little bit of harbour over here, where it's got a warning about not, you know, driving your car into the sea, which is always a good thing. Don't do that. But it looks like part of the harbour over there has been blocked off now. And probably blocked off for a while. More over there. Yeah, so as I was saying, this is kind of the entrance to the Firth of Forth at Dunbar. The village town of Dunbar is beautiful as well. And we will maybe come back and have a look at the town as well. Because honestly, I came here yesterday with Kirsten and I was like, we should move here. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's picturesque. It's peaceful. I mean, is this not just, just lovely? There's a big swimming pool, which I knew about as well. There's a massive big swimming pool right there. Um, which I think is is has got slides. I'm not sure. Maybe. Anyway. But yeah, I just wanted to show you this. I found it incredibly peaceful when I came here yesterday. I found it very calming, very peaceful. Just sitting, giving Lillian some lunch. Us having sandwiches. You know, it was a very chilled day, which I think I needed personally. I was like, I have to share this with you. I have to share this, how beautiful it is with you all. Yes, it did used to be a fort. There was a fortress here, I think. You know, part of the, that up there is part of the fortress. Um, or what's left of it. it. It got taken over and rebuilt countless times, countless times. I think all... There's a, there's a thing over there, I think, that tells a little bit of history. And we'll go over in a second. But I, I, I want to say the fortress has been here for almost 2,000 years. I may be, maybe a little bit, <laughs> maybe over exaggerating there. There's two numbers in my head 2000 or 700. A little bit of difference, but still a long time. I like this path as you come up because it gives you a history on the way. So, 1781, uh, the battery is built to protect Umbar against American sea raiders. See you, Americans. 1815. The military outpost is abandoned at the end of the wars with France. 1822. Gunfire from the battery welcomes King George IV to Scotland. 1874. An isolation hospital for infectious diseases is built within the walls. 1914, so we're up to World War I now. The local Red Cross takes over the hospital to treat injured soldiers. 1927. 
the hospital is converted into emergency housing. 1937. The hospital building is demolished after a storm and fire. And in 2017, you can see that from my shadow, the battery reopens for a place for everyone to enjoy. So this here was a battery, then a hospital, then housing, and now just a place to come and enjoy. The doors to Dunbar. For centuries, the sea was the main route in and out of Dunbar. Look at this. I love this. I love this. I mean, the, the history of these walls. This obviously changed so much over the time period. That part there was the hospital in there. Fireplace. It looks like you know, they've still got charcoal -y marks in there. I don't know when the last time it had a fire, but it's definitely still got sort of that burned look in it. Uh, some vessels never reached the safety of our harbour. Between 1819 and 1860, wrecks include... Oh, is this all wreck ships? In 1815, the townspeople built the battery on Lammer Island to protect Dunbar from the raids during the American Revolution. Lookouts had spotted enemy ships offshore and shots had been exchanged, manned by volunteers until 1815. The battery had a store for ammunition and a guardhouse. We've actually spoke about this before when America invaded Scotland. Um, I'll put a link in the corner in the description to that video. So this is the top of the battery here, which you can see these are all cannon ports, gun ports, gun holes because essentially that's the North Sea there this is the entrance to the Firth of Forth, like if you sail all the way up there for 30 miles you get to Edinburgh, so this was the the port of, of defence, I suppose you want to call it you can't even see Edinburgh for part of the East Lothian coastline there, but it is along there, there's a Bass Rock over there, North Berwick just over there as well. I mean, it's a beautiful spot this, isn't it incredible? We're actually in between Edinburgh and England, truthfully. We're 30 miles from Edinburgh and about 30 miles from the coast, uh, sorry, the, the, the border with England. So, so there you go. I love it here. I love it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. And you all know I love Edinburgh with a passion. But even though this is only the second time I've come here in two days and I've only really seen the harbour, I've genuinely sort of fallen in love with the place a little bit. I think it's beautiful and peaceful. Never fired in anger. 16 guns defended the battery until removed to Edinburgh Castle at the end of the Napoleonic War. And it's got a cannonball stuck in it. No wonder it's no been fired. That's, that's stuck there. You'll not be able to fire that. Now we never actually walked along this part yesterday because Lillian was getting a little bit, you know, a little bit tired, a little bit cranky, which is, you know, as her want, as an 11 and a half month old. I can't believe, I can't believe she turns one at the end of this month. I mean, where did that year go? Honestly, where did that year go? This is just incredible. It's so peaceful. If you get the chance, if you are in the area, it's and you can get the bus. You can get the bus from Edinburgh to here. You can come out for the day, especially if you've got a lovely day. You're just gonna, you're just gonna be in your element. Come down at the harbour, enjoy this. Take a walk along the high street. We will come back. I'm not gonna do it all in one video because it's worth more than one video. Learn about the things that they fish. I mean, there's definitely they definitely fish crabs and lobsters and things because I can see the the I don't know they're not called nets, but you know what I mean. Water sports, kayaking, canoeing, windsurfing. This is just I fall in love. I love it. I absolutely love it.
It's so beautiful. And I know I keep repeating myself now. If there was a drinking game to this one, you don't want to go with beautiful or peaceful or, or any of these sort of things because I've genuinely fallen in love with this, this spot here. Now you can see the lifeguards have... Um, not lifeguards. Are lifeguards? You know the people that go out in boats and save people? That's going to be really embarrassing when I remember what it's called. The Coast Guard. Literally the second I stopped recording my head went, it's called the Coast Guard. <laughs> the Coast Guards have a port here as well, they have a base here. There's the Coast Guards. Um, boat? I don't think it's a ship, it's a boat. They've got a berth right here, but see, see words come to me. Um, 18th century historic building. Even the wall is a historic building. It's got, it's got a little plaque right there. We will go over there. There is a um, plaque, not a plaque. You know, one of the things you read. My, oh, words. Words are, are, are not coming to me to me today. To me, ah. <sighs> information board. We've got an information board down there about the castle, which I read yesterday. I'll go back and, and, cause I still want to confirm how long the castle has been here for. Like I said, my head's either going 2000 or 700. I don't know. Um, but part of it was blown up. Part of it was blown up to make this entranceway here. Cause remember we saw the other one on the other side that's all blocked up so uh, maybe they've decided that this was more defensible because you kind of have to come round around the corner so ships and boats would be able to get out of here a bit more safely instead of essentially going out straight into the North Sea. I don't know. I don't know. You can do diving. Dunbar Rock. Around 350 million years ago, Dunbar was surrounded by volcanic activity. Now Dunbar Harbour and its coast are geological... Uh, geologists. Geological. That's the thing. Geologists dream. I'm not going to read all that. You don't want me to read all that. But if you are into geology, this is apparently the place to come. There's nothing stopping me from falling in here, I will say that. So this could be a very wet video. There is no safeguard. I've got a danger sign at the end here to say don't keep walking. There's a wee boat coming in. Oh, it's just lovely. It's genuinely just lovely. Golf courses as well. Look at that, there's some of the old, old castle brickwork right there. There's another, there's, a, there's an arch there. Can you see that arch? It's difficult to tell. The sun's actually quite blinding and I can't make out on the camera what we're seeing but there yeah I think you can see that there's a little bit of an arch top of an arch there you can't go up there it's all blocked off so I can't get up there to really explore it and you know I want to explore all that properly probably so many little hidden bits dug into the rock and everything Here we are out at the ruins now of of what was a castle. You can see like it's properly like into the brickwork there and, and that's pro that's the only bits left standing. There's some of it over there and things as well. But I think this is what I wanted to, to have a look at, Dunbar Castle. For the timeline, truthfully oh wait a minute. Six hundreds. The site was in the hands of the Kingdom of Northumbria in later part. 2000, here we go. This is what I'm talking about. We do know it has always been defensive. Dunbar means the fort, my shadow's not helping there, and the headland or point. The castle has been a fort for more than 2000 years, probably since Roman times. I was right the first time. Shouldn't have doubted myself. 2000 years. 2000 years there has been some sort of fort or castle or defensive point on this part. How cool is that? It does say here, I'm not going to go into the full history, but it does say here that a lot of parts 
it's, they don't know essentially what it looked like because it had been attacked and knocked down and rebuilt so many times that it's impossible to know what the shape of it was. Um, but you can see there's some of it over there, there, yeah, 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 and then over here, and then you can see there's still one, there's one part standing there. The painting's not giving me much away, but there's two parts standing there. See that? That's gone. That's gone as well, and that's this. That's the harbour where we are now, and there, it, that's that there is where it's been blown up, so they can they can get that there. See that? So even then, even before that was gone, and this is kind of where we are right now. This is where we're standing. That it was a ruin then. Wow. I mean, look at all of that. Yeah, I can't go up to it. You see those gates and it's blocked off and I can't get up to it, which, I mean, in, in one sense, I'm really happy that it can't go up and it can't be destroyed and it can't be ruined. On the other sense, on a selfish sense, oh my God, do I want to go up and have a look? How do I get invited? Someone find out how I can get invited to go up and have a wee, a wee tour and a wee look around. <laughs> Is that not just incredible though? The hidden hatchery, see there's hidden bits. I mean, I don't know if it actually counts, if there's a big sign saying there's a hidden bit, but still, I love it. I love it, look at that, how beautiful is this? And that's part of the, look, you can see bits. You can see bits that are, just, there's more brickwork there that you wouldn't expect. And tunnels and, oh, it's just beautiful. Look, there's a, there's a, there's a, uh, that must be like an entrance or something. Oh, Oh, I just want to explore. I want to play. I want to go in and play. Anyway, anyway, on that note, I think we'll leave it there. Dunbar Harbour. If you're in the area, definitely worth coming down, having having some seafood at the harbour, relaxing, taking some pictures, just just absorbing the atmosphere and, and the the history. It's just beautiful. I hope you've enjoyed that today. Um, if you haven't already, please remember, leave a comment, leave a like, and please remember to subscribe. It would genuinely help us out a lot, but look after yourself. Till next time, bye humans.